Hey guys, just wanted to show a little update on my little um, pygmy giraffe catfish. Uh, it's out and about tonight. It's becoming less and less um, reclusive, <laughs> I guess for lack of a better word. Uh, I've just been feeding some blood worms and uh, spirulina brine shrimp. And it's getting a full belly of that stuff. There we go. When I was showing him a couple weeks ago and I got him, he wouldn't come out from under the wood. So he's not nearly as shy and he's doing great. My plan is to try and pick up another one of these. Got them at a, got him at Aquatic Aesthetics, one of my favorite local fish stores over in Hickson now. Uh, but yeah, he's just done really, really well in here. Uh, and he's gotten along with the other two catfish too. Uh, he's hiding under there now, so uh, I won't chase him too long. But yeah, these guys are wanting me to, to feed them some more, but I also wanted to show you a couple of other things here. I've moved uh, Sandy, uh, Sand Creek, uh, Nathan's snake into the front room here to get him away from the dogs and the distractions that uh, back in my main living area. So he's in here where the a couple of tanks are and the 33 long and I'm probably gonna put Nelson can't really see it, but over there, there's like an antique um, hutch, um, break front kind of thing. You can see a lampshade back in the corner, and that's on it. So back there, uh, maybe Nelson. Uh, I still haven't decided for sure. I had, uh, and that's my blue, blue tongue skink. I thought about trying to put him here, um, but I'm not so sure it'd be stable there. And I've already put the cats off of here once. I think this is stable enough for the snake. It's it's weighted pretty heavily and it didn't move. And one last thing I want to try to show you. You know, I've been having tadpoles uh, show up, uh, eggs and tadpoles then show up in the little 10 gallon tank out here that uh, has also Nathan's, Nathan's convict fish and uh, some fire mouths. And, well, they're not going to be there now. They're actually leopard, leopard frogs, I think is what I saw in here. Uh, turned the light on about half an hour ago when they were singing and singing. And they were in the water, and they were probably spawning. And that kind of scared them a little bit, but I don't see them right now. And they, of course, stopped singing as soon as I, croaking as soon as I opened the door. Turned the light on, not open the door. Jeez, long day. So I hope to get a candid shot of uh, the frog with its head sticking out of the water, but no such luck. But I think they're what we call leopard frogs. So, all right guys, this is just a shorty and uh, appreciate you hear them starting right back up. <laughs> Soon as the light goes out, it starts back up. <laughs> okay guys, appreciate it. Thanks for checking in with me.